Winter is coming and for Yemen, this is a nail in the country's coffin. Thousands of displaced people in the camps have nowhere to go. They are living with minimal resources as the fleeing families now face an intense winter. Crammed into a desert tent with others, Heya Habia fears the onset of winter. If the long grinding war wasn't enough, sub-zero temperatures now threaten him and his family. Habia was forced to flee to the city of Marib after clashes escalated on the outskirts of the city. The family of nine escapes their homes overnight with nothing but two blankets. We fled to this area which is a desert as you can see. It's part of the empty quarter desert. If any emergency occurs, we do not find the means to be transported to the nearest hospital. There are no humanitarian services, no schools, no hospitals or any other services. Only a cluster of makeshift tents with thousands of displaced people. Al Somia has witnessed an influx of thousands of displaced people, with hundreds of people arriving in a month. The camp with scant resources bears testament to a conflict that has forced millions from their homes. Marib had around 30,000 inhabitants before the war, but its population ballooned to hundreds of thousands as Yemenis fled frontline cities for its relative stability. But with about 139 camps for the displaced, hosting around 2.2 million people, many civilians are in the line of fire once again. We were displaced two or three times and we did not receive any humanitarian aid. We are four or five families living in one tent. We did not receive any blankets nor mattresses. The cold weather is about to kill us and we have no one to help us but God. Yemen is one step away from a famine. The war has killed thousands, leaving behind a conflict-ridden nation where 80% of the population depends on aid. The UN calls it the world's worst humanitarian crisis. So where does this end? The UN is still nursing hopes of a ceasefire. But why would the Houthis take the bait, especially since they are gaining on Marib? As for the Saudis, this is the Crown Prince's personal battle, a war he pulled his country into. This to and fro will likely continue. In the end, one side will emerge victorious. But the question is, will this still have a country left to rule? West Asia Bureau, we on, world is one.